Hey guys, I'm Nick and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my mum's tiramisu reimagined into a trifle. So I think trifles are really, really fun to make because they're super easy to make and more often than not, they're really delicious. So the very first video I uploaded on this channel was my mum's tiramisu recipe. And the recipe video is still up. It's the very first video I uploaded on this channel. You can go and watch it. If you watch it, you'll see that it looks like I was a little bit afraid to actually smile or show that I was happy to be making a video. That's because I was super nervous. So I decided to reimagine this recipe into a trifle. This thing is perfect for taking to a party, Christmas, Easter. Think of a celebration, it's perfect to take to. The first thing we're gonna do is the chocolate custard. So the chocolate custard is really easy to make and it's super delicious, but you need to prepare it the day before you make the trifle. We're gonna be adding some custard powder into a large saucepan along with some sugar and we're just going to whisk that up to combine it. Next, we're going to add a little bit of the milk and whisk that up until it's really well combined. Then we're going to add the rest of the milk and mix it to combine it. You want to pop that onto a stove top on medium heat and we're going to continue mixing this for about 8 to 10 minutes until it really thickens a lot. So it's going to take a little bit to actually get there but you wanna make sure that you're standing over it, stirring it the entire time. Next, we're gonna add some butter and we're gonna mix that in there as well. Now, it's gonna look like it's going to split, but that's normal. Keep mixing and it'll eventually all come together. Once it has come together, the last thing we're gonna add is some chocolate. So I'm just adding some dark chocolate in here and we're gonna mix that in there until everything is really well combined. Now, the secret to getting super smooth custard is actually putting it in a food processor. So I'm gonna add all of my custard into my food processor. I'm gonna mix this on high speed until it's really, really, really smooth. If you don't have a food processor, the alternative is running it through a sieve. We're gonna pop this into a large bowl and cover it with plastic wrap directly on the actual custard and we're gonna pop this in the fridge overnight. Once it's chilled, you wanna pop it back into your food processor and you're gonna process it again until it kind of thins out a little bit and gets super smooth again. Let's move on to preparing the coffee mixture. So we're gonna be dipping our ladyfinger or sponge finger biscuits into some coffee mixture. So to prepare that mixture, you're going to add some boiling water into a large mixing bowl, along with some coffee powder, sugar, and some milk. And you're gonna whisk that together until it's well combined. Our trifle is gonna have some whipped cream on it and in between the layers as well. So we wanna whip that cream. So add your cream and some vanilla extract into a large mixing bowl. I'm using an electric hand mixer to whip this to stiff peaks. I actually added some mascarpone cheese and a little shot of Baileys into my cream. That's completely optional. You don't have to add those, but you can if you wanna make them a little bit richer and you wanna spike that trifle a little bit. To put this trifle together, we're gonna to begin by adding a little bit of that whipped cream into the bottom of our trifle bowl. We're gonna spread that out using a spoon and then we're going to dip our ladyfinger biscuits into the coffee mixture. So dunk them in twice and then you're going to place them on top of that cream. So you wanna cover the cream completely with those soaked ladyfinger biscuits. Then you wanna add one third of that custard mixture on top, spread it around with a spoon, and guys, we're gonna repeat this process three times all up until we get to the top and final layer. Now, I've just spread a thin layer of that whipped cream on top of the final layer and we are going to add some cream to a piping bag fitted with an open star tip and we're going to pipe swirls of that cream around our trifle. 
Let's set that trifle away in the fridge and move on to making the chocolate curls for this trifle. Making chocolate curls at home is super easy and it's a lot of fun actually. It's really, really satisfying, weirdly enough. So we're gonna begin by placing some chocolate into a microwave safe bowl. We're gonna microwave that for about 20 or 30 seconds at a time, mixing each time until it's smooth and melted. You wanna pour that chocolate on top of a large chopping board or I'm using a marble chopping board so you want to use that not a wood one alternatively you can put it on top of a chilled baking tray you want to let that set completely before you use a cake scraper or a spatula to scrape away those chocolate curls You want to place those chocolate curls in the middle of your trifle and finish this off with some maraschino cherries on top of each swirl and sprinkle that with some more um, chocolate shavings. And guys, that is pretty much it. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button. Um, if you want to try this recipe, it's going to be on my website, thescramline.com. If for whatever reason you can't find it on there, it's on my Facebook page. So just search for the video and you'll find the written recipe there. Now to serve this trifle, you just cut a slice like you do with a cake from the top and then you just get a spatula and just kind of spoon it out. It doesn't look pretty. Trifles don't look pretty when you serve them, but they're super delicious. So I'd recommend you guys trying this recipe. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scrum Line.